Hello friends, are you feeling bored sitting at home? Come on, let's have some fun. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet and dance with us. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God can So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the seas, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Come on, it's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Blessed Divinity in the Children Church. And today's prayer point is, 5th June, we are praying for salvation of the children all around the world. They are knowing the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and are blessed being saved. Glory to God. So lift up your eyes, close your eyes and pray with me. Today we are going to learn a beautiful language which is sign language. Did you know there are so many benefits of learning sign language? Sign language gives your brain a good workout which means you can focus on your studies and things better. It improves your peripheral vision and reaction time. You can communicate with babies too. It improves your communication skills. It helps you become a better listener and improves your body language skills. Wow! So come on, let's learn sign language. And our parents can also join us in this. 
Today we are going to learn song in sign language. Hooray! So come on, let's begin. All power. Yes, it all belongs to you alone. You created all this huh. All power. belongs to you Love belongs to you Heaven and the earth All power belongs to you Love belongs to you Love belongs to you In heaven and the earth All power belongs to you Love belongs to you In heaven belongs to you in heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. All power belongs to you. All power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. For Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Welcome friends, it's time for Rhapsody. Today's date is Sunday 5. You are surrounded. Psalm 125 verse 2 says, As the mountains surrounded 
Jerusalem surround Jerusalem so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever hallelujah mountains are so tall and huge it will take a long time to go around one so imagine how would be if you are surrounded by mountains it will be impossible for anyone trying to hurt you to get you i love today's memory verse because it proves that god's children are truly protected therefore refuse to fear any more because the lord will never leave you nor forsake you matthew 28 20 be bold and very courageous for you are heavily guarded and protected hallelujah praise the lord today's scripture reading is psalm chapter 121 verse 3 to 8 hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord it's confession time lift up your hands and close your eyes and say with me i am protected and kept safe from harm for the lord surrounds me like the mountains surround jerusalem he has given his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways hallelujah praise the lord bye bye friends it's time to have some more fun come on stand up and dance with us let's enjoy
praise the Lord, hallelujah, how are you all, say I'm blessed, I'm excellent and wherever you are with your friends, your brother, sister, friend, just give them a high five and say welcome and today we'll talk about Joseph from prison to palace, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Do you know about Joseph? Yes, the one who had a coat with many colors. Yes, his father gifted him a coat which had many colors. Hallelujah. Joseph was the youngest child and his father loved him. And Joseph from his childhood used to dream, you know, dream big. And he used to share his dreams with his family. You know, what he dreamed, he used to tell them what he dreamed about. And this annoyed his brother so much. He hated him. They hated him. So once they decided to kill him, then one of the brothers said, No, no, he after all he is our brother. Let's not kill him. Let's sell him as a slave. He'll go far away from us. And that is how Joseph was sold as a slave and he was taken to Egypt and over there there was an officer whose name was Potipur and Joseph started to work in his palace and Joseph was very good at everything he did everything with excellence perfection and Potipur saw all this and that is why he made him in charge of his house. But one day, the wife of Potipur wanted Joseph to do something very nasty. And Joseph, being a righteous man, he said no. He knew that was wrong. That is why he denied. And Potipur's wife he said that he did something wrong and because of that, Joseph had to go to jail. He was jailed. Though he was innocent, he did not do anything. The wife of Potiphar falsely accused him of doing something which he never did. But he was not able to prove his innocence and that is why he had to go to jail. But the Bible shows us the Lord was with him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And even in jail, he worked so well he did everything with excellence so the warden made him in charge in the jail hallelujah and as i said the lord was with joseph and god and god gave him a gift to interpret dreams hallelujah and when he was in jail there were two people who who had a dream you know they had different dreams and joseph interpreted the dream and as he had interpreted things just happened exactly as he said will happen then after some time the king had a dream and it was a very strange dream so the king called all the learned men magicians you know anyone everyone the king wanted someone to interpret the dream no one was able to interpret the dream. But one of the person who was in jail whose dream Joseph interpreted and he recollected that there is a person in jail who had interpreted my dream and he can interpret the king's dream. So Joseph was called and the king, you know, told him, can you interpret the dream? And Joseph because he had that gift given by God. He interpreted the dream. He told the king, the first seven healthy fat cows showed that there will be a good harvest. It will be seven years of great abundance. But after that, the next seven years which will follow will be seven years of famine. And all the abundance of Egypt will be forgotten because it will be one of the worst famine. 
I suggested the king that he should appoint someone who can take the fifth part of the abundant harvest and they can save them. So during the time of the famine, there will be they will have enough uh, food and he suggested that the food should be kept in reserve for the country so that it can be used during the seven years of famine. They can store up all the grain and it can be used at the time of famine so that the country may not be ruined by the famine. So that even during the famine, they can have enough food for everyone in their country. And the king said, since God made all this known to you, there is no one more wiser as you. And the king said, you shall be in charge of my palace and all my people are to submit to your order. That means after the king, the one who was in authority was Joseph. Yes, he was made the prime minister of Egypt. Hallelujah. From prison to palace, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, challenges will come, but God can turn those challenges into promotion, just like he did for Joseph. So don't be troubled by challenges. Remember, they are for our promotion. Glory to God. You know, Joseph's initial offense from the beginning that made his brothers hate him were the dreams that he had for himself. That is why his brothers hated him so much that they sold him as a slave just because of his dreams. There is no law in heaven or earth against dreaming big. Hallelujah. So as a child of God, you can dream big. You can dream of doing mighty things. You can dream yourself. You can dream that you are doing great things. Hallelujah. As a Christian, we are at liberty to dream. Glory. Hallelujah. And let your dream be big enough that God can be involved in it. Don't dream small, dream big, hallelujah. See yourself doing big things, mighty things, bringing mighty transformation. Let your dream be such that it will require the power of God to accomplish it, hallelujah. And that is why Joseph was unstoppable. Even as a child, his dreams were out of the world. Though his brother hated him because of his extraordinary dreams, but he kept dreaming and he kept telling others about his dreams. A man with a big dream can attract God's attention. A man with a big dream can attract God's attention. Hallelujah. Do you understand how easy it is to attract God's attention? If you have a big dream, it will automatically attract God's attention. Wow, hallelujah. And he eventually became the prime minister of Egypt. He, and he saved Egypt and several other countries, people from the, you know, famine. And now it's time for you to dream big, hallelujah. As I said, Dream big. See yourself doing mighty things, great things, big things. Hallelujah. And it is a decision you must make. Hallelujah. No one else is going to dream for you. It is our responsibility. It is our decision that we see ourselves that we are doing mighty things, great things, bringing forth mighty transformation all around the world. Praise the Lord. Make sure your vision of success is big enough to require the supernatural element. Yes, if it is big, it will attract God's attention. Let it be so big that it needs God's power to fulfill. And can see to accomplish. As I said, see yourself doing big things. Think differently, not like everyone else. Think differently. See yourself 
no matter from where you are who you are what background you come from it doesn't matter just look at joseph in his father's house he was sold by his own brothers as a slave he was working as a slave and from there he went to the prison more worst his situation what you know from a human perspective we might think that oh but from one problem to another what the lord was with him all the time god blessed him hallelujah and and even in all those situations he kept dreaming he was holding the dream he had for himself hallelujah which god had shown him no let that dream hallelujah so no matter from where you are what the situation is what is your background who you are it doesn't matter dream big hallelujah see yourself doing great mighty big things hallelujah no heavenly father is big and his resources are limitless so don't limit yourself you can dream big hallelujah he's not only able to bring your vision of success to pass but he is more willing excited enthusiastic about your success more than you are hallelujah isn't it wonderful hallelujah god is more excited more enthusiastic more willing for our success hallelujah praise the lord so what is stopping us from dreaming big hallelujah so go ahead dream big see yourself doing mighty great things for the lord hallelujah and remember god is with you when your dream is big he is there to make sure that your vision of success is fulfilled is accomplished praise the lord hallelujah just like joseph from prison to palace hallelujah even you can dream big and you can do big things hallelujah there is no limit glory 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 hallelujah i'm sure you are excited to know that you can dream big don't listen to those people who say no no what you're dreaming is too big oh that is just impossible don't listen to them remember our god is a big god mighty god hallelujah and he is more willing and enthusiastic for our success so i'm sure you all are excited to dream big to share this message with your friends your families and tell them yes they have the liberty to dream big there is no limit if your dream is big you you can attract god's attention that is all we need what else do we need hallelujah and rest will be done praise the lord hallelujah as i always say share this message with your friends share the link with your friends watch this program over again with your friends hallelujah and make sure that you're joining us the coming sunday till then bye bye and god bless you and make sure that you're joining me coming sunday till then bye bye and god bless you wow we learned so many beautiful things today and now it's time for confessions hallelujah praise the lord welcome friends it's time for confession lift up your hands and say with me i am the love child of a loving god His love fills my heart. I share God's love with everyone I meet. I have love the most powerful force. I am unstoppable. The word of God is my life. The word of God is my source. The world of God 
gives me directions i work daily in the light of god's word hallelujah praise the lord bye bye friends praise the lord hallelujah if you're watching our program for the first time and you have not received jesus as your lord as your friend so here is the opportunity you can say this prayer with us and you can receive jesus as your lord your friend your savior hallelujah so wherever you are you can rise up on your feet lift up your hands towards heaven close your eyes and believe and say this prayer after me dear father i believe in jesus christ son of the living god i believe he died for me and god raised him from the dead he is alive today I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father, for I am saved. I am born again. And through his name, I receive eternal life. And from this day, I am a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So if you have said this prayer after us, Welcome to God's mighty family. Hallelujah. Now Lord Jesus is your Lord, your Savior and your friend. Hallelujah. So if you have prayed with us, this is the time that I will pray for you. Thank you Father. I pray for each and every one who has given their hearts to Christ. Thank you Father. I said Jesus is their Lord forever. Hallelujah. Satan has no power over their life. they are blessed and are a blessing they they are divinely protected oh lord they walk in health thank you lord thank you lord for blessing them thank you in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah praise the lord and congratulations once again praise the lord this is the time where we can give our offerings if you are watching us from a center you can give your offering in the center itself if you are watching us from your home the bank details are on the screen you can speak to your parents and you can give your offering through bank transfer right now let's pray for the offering thank you father for giving us the opportunity and the grace to give our offerings we say this offering is sanctified by your spirit thank you lord as we have given we'll see a multiplied harvest in the name of jesus we shall not we shall not lack any good things in our life we are blessed o oh lord money locates us o oh lord thank you we invoke your blessings upon them and we say it has been multiplied for the furtherance of the gospel thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord this is the time where we'll pray in case you're not well you're sick and remember it is god's desire that we should always walk in health god has given us divine health hallelujah so as we are praying believe that the power of god is available to heal you so wherever you are having any kind of health issue just lay one of your hands over there lift the other hand and let's pray together ribashata ame prabhuska aati Rubasha karala bonda re likiba owa sahi trabosh kara thank you father i pray for each and every one oh lord i command every sickness every infirmity every pain to leave in the name of jesus hallelujah from the crown of their head to the toe of their feet oh lord yes 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 your life is at your life is the oh lord oh hallelujah no pain no pain reko so pa sa in tala baba Every part of the body is functioning properly in the name of Jesus. Basai ala bom tale. O rakhe pa ku ant as we are praying, O Lord. Yes, Your power is at work, O Lord. He bol eha. Health is restored. Each and every one is receiving their healing in the name of. Jesus yes they are healed they are healed hallelujah o rasa ke ere bante re bo sita namashtala bontara la baba 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I say they are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed with us, we know that you have received your healing. Do call us and let us know what the Lord has done for you. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time. Yes, we learned so many new things. Praise the Lord. And as I always say, whatever is being taught, share it with your friends, your family members. Share the link. Watch it. Watch it again with your friends. Hallelujah. Right now, let's thank God for His love, for His grace, for His word. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hands towards heaven, close your eyes and let's pray and thank God. Oh, thank you, Father, for your love, for your grace, for your word, oh Lord. I pray for each and everyone watching the program. They are blessed and are a blessing, oh Lord. They are preaching the gospel with boldness. All things are working together for the good. Your wisdom is at work. The spirit of excellence is at work, O oh Lord. There is peace, joy, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. They are blessed and are a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So make sure that you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.